Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Can you smell this in my kitchen? I tell you, I am a glutton for punishment. I just simply could not resist the other palm dates that fell on the patio. And so I've picked them up and I'm cooking those. I'm having surgery tomorrow and I'm just kind of backed into a corner here trying to get everything done before I have surgery. Um, but I wanted to get the palm dates cooked and I'm going to go ahead and strain those tonight and just get my juice probably put in the freezer to use at a later date. But I simply could not let them go to waste and they smell so good while they're cooking. But now what I want to do is to make some strawberry fig jam. Uh, I don't know if any of you have ever made it. You probably have. It's a pretty common thing to do if you have figs. It is just like strawberry jam. It is so good. And so I have two fig trees, which I'm also doing a video um, with another process of figs that I'm doing that's called glossé figs. So be sure when I put that video out that you, you watch it because it's, uh, it's, it's so good. Oh my goodness, they're candied and they are out of this world. But anyway, let's get started making the strawberry fig jam. These are the ingredients that you will be needing. Strawberry jello, lemon juice, granulated sugar, fresh figs, washed and drained, a large bowl, a measuring cup, a large heavy stock pot, canning jars, canning lids and rings, scissors or a knife, a large spoon, a potato masher or a food processor. So let's begin. I have already washed and drained my figs and so the first thing that I have to do is to cut the stems off of these because I'm going to have to mash them. But I think for the sake of time, you can use a potato masher if you don't have a food processor, but I'm going to use my food processor so that it will speed things along. So I'm going to start now clipping off the stems and then we'll get started with the rest of it. I will post this recipe below in the description box. It's a very simple thing to make. It doesn't take long to make it. Uh, our youth pastor at our church had asked my daughter-in-law if she could make him some fig jam. He's a young guy, such a sweet young man. and. Heather, their fig tree is really small. Mine is really big. I have, like I said, I've got two and one is much bigger than the other, but the other one's pretty big too. So I told her I would make some and give to him. So I want to get all the stems snipped off of these. It won't take that long to actually make the jam and then I will jar it up and it will seal. I may be doing a double recipe. I haven't fully decided yet. A single recipe calls for seven cups of mashed figs um, and seven cups of sugar. So I may double it. I, I don't know if I'll have 14 cups of figs here. I could have gone out and picked more off of the tree, but I just really haven't had time. I had to get out there and clean my pool this morning. I've had to bathe all three of my little dogs. There's so much I'm trying to get done before tomorrow. They're going to be working on me tomorrow because of the infection that's in my left breast. The doctor is going to be taking the expanders that's in me out and scraping and washing out my left breast to try to get rid of the infection. And they will go ahead and place the implants and sew it up and pray that, that the infection is gone. If it's not, then I'll have to have another surgery to have the implant removed. So please keep me in prayer. Uh, I would like to say I had mentioned in one of my videos the other day about um, the young woman that is like a member of my family or like part of our family, Becky, Becky Lane. Uh, she had breast cancer also and she's such a young woman and 
they did a lumpectomy on her, but she had gone through uh, quite a bit of chemo beforehand because the, the cancer she had, her mother said, was a very invasive type. And she's doing really well. So I appreciate those of you that lifted her in prayer. And I uh, would like to ask you that you continue to lift her in prayer as she's healing and that everything will be good with her. They took out six lymph nodes of hers. And with me, they only had to remove one. So I'm telling you, I was, I was truly blessed with everything that I've been through. I've gotten along so well. I had been so careful picking these figs to make sure I got the stems on them because I was thinking probably what I was going to do was make some more glossy figs with them. And then Heather told me what Ryan had said, and I thought, well, you know what? I've got one batch of glossy figs, so I think I'm going to fix these, and I hope that it will bring joy to him when I give him some jam, which I know that it will. He's a very appreciative young man. I'm going to stop at that and process the ones here that I have. I don't know how many of these will yield out. So I'm going to process these and see how many cups I have before I go any further with chopping the stems off. So let me get started with that. Okay, what I'm going to do, I had enough figs to do one and a half of my recipe. So now what I have to do is to put the figs in a pot along with the sugar and the lemon juice. And I'm going to start cooking that over a medium heat for about 15 minutes. It will take 10 and a half cups of sugar for a recipe and a half, so. That's two, four, Six, eight, ten, and a half cup. And that's a half. Okay, and to that now I'm going to add three fourths a cup of lemon juice. bring the heat up on this and then I'll turn it down to a medium heat and let it simmer for about 15 minutes. Okay, the heat is coming up on this now. So I've turned it to medium and I'm just going to let this sit and cook for about 15 minutes. I'll stir it occasionally. Okay, the timer has gone off, and so now I'm going to add three packages, the three ounce size of strawberry gelatin, to my fig mixture. And I'm going to stir that in. And 
I'm going to remove this off of the heat. I'm going to start a hot water bath. I'm and going to skim this foam off of the, the top with a ladle. Okay, I think that pretty well gets the foam off of it. I don't want that on my jam. Okay, normally I would heat my lids in boiling water, but I'm going to process this in a hot water bath for 10 minutes. So I'm not going to have to heat the, the lids. I'm going to ladle this up in my jars. Okay, I'm going to pour this because it's getting very low and I may have enough for just a little tiny jar. Okay. It's about a half of a half pint, about a fourth of a pint. So I will save that and have it with my toast in the mornings. And then we need to wipe the rim so that it doesn't have any jam to prevent it from sealing. Alright, that's two, four, six, eight, nine pints and a fourth out of one and a half recipes. So, let's see if my water is boiling and it's getting ready to boil. So, I'm going to put my jars in. I'll let these process in a water bath for 10 minutes. When you do a water bath, you want to make sure that the water comes up over the lid up over the rain, completely immersed in water. This is going to work out perfectly because I'll be able to get all of my jars into the one water bath. Okay, and when this comes to a full boil, I'll set my timer for 10 minutes and it's getting ready to boil. I'll set the lid on it. I'm not going to close it. I'm just going to set it on it to hold the heat. Okay, you can see it's starting to boil. So I'm going to set my timer for 10 minutes. My timer has gone off. It's been 10 minutes and so I'm going to take my jam up and let it cool. Okay, it is completed and it looks really pretty. Um, I know that it will be really good. I've had this before, so I know how delicious it is. I haven't made it in a long time, but it's really, really good. So, I hope that you will be able maybe to use this recipe or try it at least if you have figs. It taste so similar to strawberries. It's really good. I don't know whoever came up with this idea, but it was a great one. That concludes my video on the strawberry fig jam. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. I would like to ask you to hit the subscription button and give me a thumbs up. It helps the rating on my channel 
leave me a comment and don't forget to click the notification bell that way you'll be notified when I post another video. I do covet your prayers as I'm facing surgery tomorrow morning but I know the Lord's got his hand on me and so I'm not afraid. I'm just ready to to get back to normal so I'm gonna be out of commission for a few days again but anyway thank you for supporting me this far and until we meet again may the Lord bless and keep you and your family safe and you take care and I hope to see you really soon bye